Southern Comfort. All memories north fall fast down south, like finch droppings drying hard and white on the dust-frosted windshields of old pickup trucks, Confederate flag decals, corners curling and decay on their bumpers. And contrary to popular belief, only some of us done bubba teeth. Corn and cotton are always traded as cash in the streets. Bread isn't always baked fresh from wheat grown out back. Black women don't always seek employment at domestics. Rednecks and hicks are not always from the sticks. And sunset doesn't always find us in bare feet, seated on our curves and John Deere hats and white mammy scarves, starving brain circulations of the general population waiting for our pet cows to come home. We actually have phones, at least some of us do, and there are some who find it too easy to ignore the real insult of not being asked to remove the mask. The ruby sunset, white porch, Tennessee Williams, pink lemonade masquerade, the Catfish County Parade, deciding it's just too damn pleasant to end the charade. And some will defend it because some of us don't want, some of us really don't want a real past, a valid present. Somewhere in the South, there is a city park named for the Confederate founder of the Klan and black politicians with dirty hands blaming white ones for their imprisonments. And there are places where reality can be a poor swing, dangling in modifiers, chain just strong enough to hold the old beast who mothered us in her dirty kitchen. There seems to be only two options. Beat her until she screams out her guilt or dress her in scarlet and drink of her iced tea. Too sweet for human consumption.